Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, this is Wednesday, April. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm not myself today. As you can see, I'm hanging out in bed. Been kind of sleeping all day. My heart's been acting up, uh, trying to go too fast. Then it would go slower than my normal, but not too slow, which is good because you don't want to go into tacky Brady. That's what they call it. Anyway, it's Wednesday, September 16th, and I want to read this prophecy to you before I delete it. This is really good. Uh, I got it in the letter from Dawn. This person submitted it to, to Dawn's letter, and it's called A Watchman on the Wall, Armed and Dangerous, posted 12th of September, 2020, shh, 9.49 a.m. All right, I have come that they might have life and life in abundance. Yet many prefer death to life, unwilling to give up control. They grapple for more and more of what the world offers. The world, the flesh, and the devil descend like vultures on the once, and that's in quotes, once. Land of the free and the once home of the brave. Fear roams freely and up and down the streets of America. Stand amid the rubble and see me, says the Lord. See my work in the midst of all that Satan is attempting to do. Exhort one another every day, as long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. See my goodness. See my glory. Be amazed at what I am doing. Become more bold in your witness. There is no time to lose. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. I am a God of redemption. I am a God of the second chance. Now pause. Notice he didn't say, I am a God of second chances. And to me, when I read that, I immediately thought of the second rapture. He says, I am a God of the second chance. Now, you could take it as, yes, God always gives me a second chance. But I do believe he's also referring to the second rapture, which means all those who are ready by then will be able to escape the great tribulation because that starts after the seals are opened. In other words, when the trumpet and bowl judgments begin, the church should already be out of here. That's how I understand it. Now, some people will give you an explanation for the book of Revelation that trumpet and bold judgments are happening during the uh, seals. But I just can't see it that way because this is the devil's time. The tribulation is his time. The great tribulation is God's wrath poured out. He will be in charge. He will be the one pouring out the bowls of wrath or having his angels do it, blowing the trumpets. Now, those may over, uh, cross over, whatever, however you want to put it. But I, um, I just don't believe that any of those things happen while we're still here or the rest of the church. But I, I hope I'm right about that. I'm not going to say it's definitively, 
the church that is not ready to go yet, most of them, they're not living holy, not living right. They don't love Jesus most. They may love him. They may serve him. If they get to go to a church or watch on TV the church services and they're still tied in with one and, and they may be serving in some capacity still, I don't know. But a lot of people are just not ready to go. They love their lives. And the Bible says people will love their lives unto the death. And I pray that nobody I'm praying for, that none of his children get killed in, in a great earthquake that happens at the sixth seal. Anyway, I'll move on with the word from the Lord. I am a God of the second chance. Keep your heart and mind stayed, connected to me. Great evil rules men. You are seeing the, the heart of Satan at work. Dark, so very dark will be the days ahead. But remember, I am your source of light. What you are witnessing is the power of darkness unmasked. The tip of the enormous iceberg of filth and failure to take a stand for God. I desire that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of truth. You must be rooted and grounded in me for the, in the days ahead. Much that has been cloaked in darkness will come to light. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. See, part of this is for the... Uh, well, I think most of it is being spoken to those who will, will, will be left behind. He's telling you he will be with you. He won't leave you. He said, I will never leave you or forsake you. Okay, where was I? I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I have said these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Be alert, be on guard, be aware, be prepared. Trust me, says the Lord. Trust only in me. Okay, and that is the end of it. That's all it says. And I needed to share that because I thought that was really good. That was by a watchman on the wall, armed and dangerous. I don't know if they have a YouTube channel or not. But anyway, I thought I needed to share that with you. Um, this first one, actually, I wanted to share. So I will go ahead. It's very short. It's under Small Straws and a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. In these uncertain times, almost everything you hear is distorted and exaggerated for the purpose of manipulation and control. Boy, isn't that the truth? They have exaggerated the numbers of the deaths from COVID greatly. And then we learn that only 9,200 and some died from it were in our country. Okay, so it's being distorted and exaggerated for the purpose of manipulation and control. It is more important than ever that you walk in the spirit and in the gift of discerning of spirits. You must ask for those gifts if you don't have them, brothers and sisters. Your place of safety is in seeking me for truth and direction. I will show you the way. And she added John 14, 6a. 
Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And that is the absolute truth. So with that I'll say, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video so it'll go up and stay up. And over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. God bless you all. And please keep me in your prayers because I found out my eyes cannot be helped with glasses. I have to have cataract surgery. And the left eye is scheduled to be done on the 29th if we're still here. I kind of doubt it. But I am going forth with it in case we're not. Because it's pretty much blind. <laughs> but the right eye is compensating. Um, I didn't realize that it was, you know, what, what brought... When I bought those big blue glasses, they magnified it more. So I thought that the glass maybe was defective. So that's why I went ahead, to, went to the eye doctor, and um, that was Monday. And he told me no amount of glasses is going to help this. We just need to get those cataracts out. Now, this one's not so bad. I may not even do that one. And I got a, a generous donation given to me for the glasses. And... It, it might be enough for both, but I'm only worrying about the first one for now. I should have enough. I'm going to have to get rides to and from four different appointments just for one eye. <laughs> Can you believe it? Uh, but, you know, I'm trying not to worry about it. I'm putting it in the hands of the Lord. So... I want you to pray for me that I will get the rides, I will find rides, <laughs> and two, that I won't worry about it because it's affected my heart. It really has. And that could be partly because I missed my nap two days in a row. That's what happens when I don't get that a good afternoon nap a couple days in a row. It really affects my body. So it could be partly that, not just worrying i'm not because i don't i'm not really worry work you know I'm, I'm concerned i'm like lord help me find him of course you know but i would not say i was worried i was um i was more uh concerned that i would be able to take care of myself afterward because you're sedated and i have to put these drops in they already ordered them i've already gotten them and I have to put three different drops in. You got to do them at certain times and certain ways. You can't just, I don't know. I, I've just known people that had it. I think that had me a bit concerned. Was I going to be able to do it on that first day? But anyway, um, beautiful sister in Christ from Grafted in Team Jesus, Kathy, she called and we prayed. And, and I know it'll be all right. So, just keep me in your prayers, and I'll do what I can to keep in touch, and um, just wanted to, you know, update you on that. So, hopefully, I'll pretty soon I won't have to do this. <laughs> okay, and then I'd rather, though, just go to heaven, get my glorified body, and have perfect vision, and come back, and save the lost. <laughs> That's what I want to do more than anything. So maybe that will happen first. Let's all be found ready, okay? Pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. All right, with that, I'll say bye for now. God bless each and every one of you.